We're in the delightful destination of Suriname, Paramaribo, I believe is how you pronounce the uh, capital city. The airport, uh, Johan Adolf Pengel International, is just to the south of the airport. So let's look at the map. We're going to fly northeast. There's a lot of history here. I've found that uh, this is the former Alcoa aluminium uh, processing smelting plant, rather large and on a bend in the Suriname River. We can see uh, where ships come all the way down from the ocean to pick up the uh, aluminium on their way back up to the port, which we'll go to next. And this plant and this company apparently played a very significant role in the economy of the whole country throughout most of the 20th century, I think from about 1905. So check that out, it's an interesting story. There's some good articles on, on the web you can find about that. Um, so we're going to then go fly north up the river and at this strategic point where the river branches just just past the estuary, the mouth, is this star-shaped fortress, Fort New Amsterdam. So one, two, three, four, five, five-pointed star. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we should be able to see the star shape and its position on the river. Should make it easy enough to find. Then we fly west, southwest across the top of Paramaribo. And we'll have a bit of a look around. Flying to uh, a bridge and a bend in the Saramaka River. It looks like it might even be a open type of bridge too. Not sure. We'll see when we get there perhaps. And then back down to the airport. There we go. So we're flying counterclockwise this time. Uh, so about 10 miles northeast to the aluminium plant, straight up to the fort, back across to the bridge. And uh, first I'll send the drone up as usual to uh, have a look around. And there we are. Should be another interesting flight. Okay, we're taking off from Johan Adolf Pengel Airport in Suriname should be an interesting flight. Okay, full throttle. Waiting for 27, 28, 29, 30,000 RPM. Temperatures and pressures stabilized. We'll break off. Taking off from runway 28. 29, I think. Rotating, take off. Gear up, flaps up, and then turn right to heading 043. Go through 200 knots. There's a long taxi actually, we're just passing over the parking area now. Climbing to a thousand feet. Heading through north right now. And on track. Make sure those flaps are definitely up. Copy that. Trimmed good. Trimmed well. Just checking the. Uh, speed brake and flat position. It's okay. I wasn't at full throttle. I wonder why we weren't picking up speed as usual. We are now. Uh, right. So it's only 10 miles. We can already see the red colours and the ponds. Lake to the left. So this is the... I'm going to climb a bit. It's going to 2,000 feet. Slow up former Alcoa smelting facility. 
closed a number of years ago. But, yeah, according to some interesting articles I found, a big part of the economy down here. So these two reddish areas, not, not much left there now actually, actually. But on the river beyond, see the bend in the river, we'll see where the, might see where the barges and ships used to come in to load up on ore or whatever form the aluminium left here turn from bauxite to aluminium nuggets or something it's a, one of the lighter metals in the periodic table so a very distinctive landmark and they built a dam somewhere down to the south there uh, too far for today's flight but huge dam which is worth checking out well, maybe on the next next visit uh, let's just go right a little bit look at those buildings should take a few snaps there too there we go get the little tip cam onto it momentarily there we go yep there's quite a few buildings left there let's have a look a nice shot, wingtip cam, and yeah that's good, I like that one. Great, so th that's a very handy landmark, uh, bright orange earth standing out against the green jungle. So now let's head across to the river, same direction, actually uh, north northeast and then much north of the river. Uh, here we go, get my bearings again. So, you look at that, it's great. So, just in front of us, I'll, I'll go right a little bit and we'll turn left to head north. Let's see if I can spot, let's get the wing cam out. Any of the old port facilities here. We've been about here. See a canal on the left, we can see some storage. Yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's where the ship sort of loaded up. So there's still remnants of it there, that's awesome. That's, uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so let's make our way up the river. the flight plan we could flow the bendy windy bends over there which, which would be fun but it's going to add another five ten minutes to the flight that Let, let's just cut straight across to the next waypoint which is on the coast to the north looks like they built canals between the lakes across there too Coming left a bit to intercept our uh, flight plan. Let's get down a bit lower. Where we like to be where the action is. Okay, pretty much on track now. hypnotised by the river. Now that river, if we follow it to the left there, takes us right into Paramaribo, the, the capital, as you see off to the left there. We'll come back across the top of that in a moment, but we're looking for this, you can see it just through the canopy rails, let's get the tip cam out, centre screen on that river corner should be uh, port of New Amsterdam. So let's, uh, let's find out. 
Now once again, because we're turning left afterwards, I'll approach it from the east. So looking for a star-shaped large compound right on the corner there. And I think I can see it. My camera ready. What's going on? Yep. It's got oh okay, it's got like a motor around it. I thought it was the fence. Even cooler. Yep, there it is. Excellent. Nice. Okay, now we're heading slightly southwest across the top of the capital city. And we're right on track now. Get the left wing cam out. Nice. A lot of canals through the built through the city here. Uh, it could be the Dutch influence, I guess. They like living near the water, amongst the water. Just turn right, keep on track, and it cross the top of town about 15 more miles, finding a bridge on the river, and then back to the airport. That's simple. Very nice. And there's the ocean to the north. Canals everywhere, everywhere, actually. That's fascinating. Okay, about five or six miles to this uh, bridge. Just turn right a little bit. Okay, uh, bend in the river coming up. Let's get the wing cam out. There we go. So somewhere around the middle of that river bend, we should see this uh, bridge. Then it's 90 degree turn left back to the airport. So very close now. Slow up. I think I can see it. It's just in here. Yep, there it is. Success. Fair boat. There's our little bridge. Right, 90 degree turn. Pretty hard turn there. And we're back on track to the airport. Across the jungle again. Okay, let's speed up. To the right, yeah, lots of green. Little farm tucked away in there.
looks just like Australia actually. Uh, the southern tablelands of New South Wales. Good dairy country. At 10 miles up to the airport, up uh, to the lights flashing 12 o'clock. Some moisture in the air out there. I think they predict rain later on, so I might do another flight round uh, in different conditions. Let's find out where they want us to land. That would be a good plan. Angle. Full stop landing. Slow up a little. We're going to have to fly up point first, which is cool. Coming down to pattern altitude and speed. Thousand feet. Landmarks out here, it's just pretty much green as far as I can see. Okay, let's turn to final. Give a bit of power on this turn actually. About 200 knots, yep, power off. Gear down, flaps down. Down. Pretty high, pretty fast. I should pop the speed brake. Very fast, actually. Uh, no gear lights yet, either. Might be a go around this one. Yep. Hear the gear now. Still really fast but we'll see how it goes. I think we'll be right there. 150 knots will be fine, it's a long runway. This thing pulls up pretty quick. Yeah, it'll need to. My longest landing ever. 120 knots here, yeah, settling down. 110. 
racing it. There we go. It's a fast touch down 109. But as you can see, we pull up pretty quickly and save the long taxi. Phew. So that was interesting. Uh, what you call a high energy approach. Uh, which is, I like, keeps you on your toes. You can never get complacent uh, in these things. And as usual, do not try this at home, folks. Not real aviation advice, but certainly a lot of fun. Thank you, sir. Give him a wave for waiting. Uh, yes, copy. See if anybody waves to me. Uh, no, I think they're on the phones over there. Uh, if I pull around next to that yellow aircraft, they might park me. We'll see. That's where I took off from. around here towards the fuel. Oh yeah, I think I've got the arms. Oh, or is she just exercising? Oh no, she's saying go left, go left. That's cool. Could have been outdoor yoga or something. Go right, go right. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Tap in the brakes and stop. Cool. Uh, wheel brakes on and shutting down. Excellent.